Welcome to BET Talks, the Future 22 edition. Join me as I sit down with some of the community's most dynamic game changers. And big shout out to our partners at McDonald's as they identified and are also elevating the stories of these brilliant activists, entrepreneurs, and next generation leaders. You're about to see that our future is bright with these folks leading the way. Dara Ashley Freeman has a passion for learning, and she has her own organization called the Dara Ashley Foundation, right? Yes. Yes, and with the help of her foundation, she finds mentorship, scholarships, and leadership opportunities for minority college students. So uh, here we have Dara Yay! Ashley Freeman. How you feeling? <laughs> I'm good, good. Good, good, good. Tell the people a little bit about you. Tell them, well, well let me hear about you. Let yeah, me hear about you. Of yeah. course, of course. <laughs> I have a, a burning, if you will, fire for education. Um, yeah, I just want to help out minority students, create these opportunities for them, give them leadership, mentorship, have people really pour into them. And uh, that's what kind of brings me here today. What sparked that moment that you just said, I need to start something like this? Yeah, honestly, when I was really young, uh, it was around the time the recession was kind of happening and my parents were looking for a way to make more money. And so they started this cute little tutoring business and I peer tutored elementary students as well. Um, and just how it was just more than tutoring, it was more than math, more than science. And seeing how that really influenced people, I was like, oh, I need to be a part of this forever. <laughs> and so that's kind of where it really started. So were your parents educators? My they, mother. Your mother? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I, I get that vibe. Get my, mom, vibe? <laughs> my mom was a teacher, too, so I get, I get you 100%. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I felt it. I, I knew it was there. I knew it was there. We're going to switch gears a little bit. I hope you're OK with that. We're going to yes. play a little bit of a game. OK. okay? Okay, so um, we can play Would You Rather. Okay, that's my favorite. So first things first, I'm gonna ask you, would you rather always have every picture you take on point, okay. or have your grades always be perfect? Ooh, it's like the gram or grades. Yes. I would have to go with grades, because perfect grades, I feel like can open so many doors, whether that's mentorship, kind of like my program, but also just opportunities for scholarships and just, if I had good grades, some of the struggles that I had, I wouldn't have had to have if I had perfect grades. Listen now, perfect picks on the ground can come with some opportunities too now. <laughs> you're right, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, but um, I get what you're saying and I like yeah, that. Yeah. I like that, I like that 100%. So yeah, definitely for the, for the education, for the, for the brain, for the brain? Well, let's, go for the let's go for the grades, yeah, yeah. Would you rather never have to charge your phone ever again in the day of your life okay. or never have to pay for gas again? Hmm, I think never have to charge my phone. Really? And the reason is because, well, I, my car barely takes gas. I fill it up maybe like every two weeks. It's a really good car on gas. But okay. I'm that person who you're always trying to call, always trying to text, and my phone's dead. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so okay. I need the charging. Yeah. You know, and now, that you, now that you put it in that way, I, I'm the same way. Yeah. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go with phone charger too because I don't even drive much, no? honestly. Yeah, no. I'm, not, I'm not much of a driver. Okay. Yeah, I'm a. I probably shouldn't. I'm a passenger. Okay. I'm a passenger more than anything. Back in the phone. Yeah, yeah. that's it. I'm going with the phone. <laughs> I want to thank you for what you've done and what you have been doing and what you plan on doing in the future. Yes. And I just think that your organization is great, especially with the idea that it has behind it and you know the opportunities that you want to bring people. So I just want to say thank you for that and continue to inspire and provide all these opportunities for people. Thank you. JC Smith is an outspoken advocate for the black and deaf community. During his time as a college student, he has taken on leadership roles and actively worked to preserve the rich history of black American sign language. As a future 22 game changer and the youngest member of the National Black Deaf Association, JC is just getting started. To change the future, you have to want change. You have to be aggressive for wanting change. And I'm from Mississippi, Jack time, you know. If I want to rule the world, I will change one thing that requires you for black and deaf community, uh, getting job opportunity, uh, open, open up many doors uh, to death and their, their desire, uh, whatever field they might want to be in. And that's really the key point of um, the style that we live in today, that people not really trying to 
hire or give them an opportunity for a deaf individual. So I want to maybe make that change to let people know, like, give them the chance. They have what it takes to be successful. If you give them one chance, they will take it, the opportunity. We deaf individuals out there wanting to stay, go forward. So this next Future 22 Game Changer has made a name for herself within the gaming community. Marquesa Brown, also known as Horizon, right? Is that yes, it? Yes, Yep, Horizon. that's it, I got it, Horizon. <laughs> she has made a name for herself in the community and has given a new face to the culture of gaming. Marquesa, how you doing? How good, you doing? how are you? Good, good, welcome to BET Talks. I have a couple questions I wanna ask you, is that okay? Yeah, let's get it. You have been selected to be one of McDonald's Future 22 mm -hmm. Game Changers. What does that mean to you? Like, how does that feel? I mean, I love that there's pe people can look up to me. That's my, I love being a role model. That's why I'm a streamer. That's why I want to be in front of people every day and talk to them. And I love that many young female black gamers are looking at me and being like, wow, I can actually do that. Right. Like, she's doing it every day. Like, I, I can watch her, I can learn, and I love that I'm able to do that for them. Right. Mm -hmm. So it's like a pure example of representation. Yeah. Yes, I like yeah. that. How did the name Horizon come about? Where's you? All right. It was very odd how I figured it out. I wasn't really a gamer when I was younger that much, and I didn't really know gaming names. So when I decided I really wanted to start like becoming a gamer, like becoming a streamer, I was like, I gotta have a cool name. Like, I, like this name has to be like Horizon. Like that's cool. So <laughs> I was looking around my house and I saw the word Horizon. And I was like, that's such a cool word, like horizon. Like you can do so many like things with the word horizon. Like, so I was flipping around the letters to try to make it seem cooler, and I ended up with horizon M for Marquesa. Right. Yeah. So I really like the name, the like the the meaning of the horizon of like like ru like the sun rising right. above the horizon. Right. And, Great meaning. <laughs> and your legacy is going beyond yes, the horizon too, beyond right? Horizon. Yes, so yes, many yes. Ways you can use it. Right. Okay. So we're gonna switch gears a little bit right. and have a little fun. Okay. okay. I hope you're ready. We're I'm gonna ready. play Would You Rather. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 So, would you rather have the ability to dance or the ability to sing? Oof. I have the ability to dance or sing. Okay. So I have my own type of dancing. People love it. It's not what's considered great, but it's good. So we're gonna, I'm gonna go with sing, cause- There's a target audience yeah, for it. Yeah, there's a target audience for it. I'm gonna go with sing, you know? Like, I can start singing on stream, and people are like, wow, Horizon. Nice voice. <laughs> album coming soon. <laughs> yeah, album, album coming soon. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the next one would be, would you rather be able to change the past or get a glimpse into the future? Okay, I think I'm gonna change the past, cause I know my future, it's it's gonna be good. I don't need I don't need to see that. Right, right. 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 But my, if I change my past, there's things I could change, like streaming earlier, or just like making the op making my opportunities. I'd, I'd be a lot farther than I am probably now I if feel. I decided a game earlier than 100%. I did. <laughs> I, I get that one hundred percent. It, it's justified. I feel you. I feel you. I feel you. Mm -hmm. Well, um. Thank you so much for sitting down and talking with me. Yeah. Um, I appreciate you for coming out. And um, you know, keep, keep killing it. You know, you're, oh. you're, you're you're making a name for yourself. Mm -hmm. I like what you're doing, and of course, you're representing and putting on for a lot of people out there. So thank you so much for coming. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Earl Robinson is on a mission to dismantle negative stereotypes about the Black community through his very own documentary. This Future 22 Game Changer also runs his own business, where he helps other Black students find ways to fund their academic dreams. At the age of 11, I decided to make a short film with my two best friends, Bilal and Bakari. It was like 30 minutes. I produced it, wrote it, um, directed it, and ever since then, I've just been in love with the behind the scenes um, aspect of television, film, all that good stuff. I'm now currently a sophomore at the illustrious Winston-Salem State University, majoring in mass communication with a concentration in television and film production. And I currently um, have started my own business, ER Scholars LLC, where I help students find scholarship opportunities. Change is important for my community because we have a lot of work to do. Um, there's still poverty, um, there's still stigmas and stereotypes that we um, are unfortunately um, still contributing to. So until all of that is, um, you know, 
over with. I think that I think that's why change is still so important. That's still a lot of work that we have to do. My message to future community leaders would be to be yourself, lead with intention, um, know exactly what you're fighting for exactly, um, and keep your eye on the prize. I hope these stories will inspire you to create the positive changes that you want to see within your community. For BET Talks, The Future 22, presented by McDonald's, I'm Laron Hines. Thanks for watching.